Hey everybody, once again I want to introduce you to this series, The Villages of Cornwall. We had started this series back maybe about a year ago, and unfortunately we just ran into it with my health issues and it's like that. But I think we got through Toy Town, we might have walked Miner's Village, talked about the town proper, because uh, Cornwall United Methodist is on the other side of the school here, uh, the Cornwall Elementary. and. We're here at the statue that's the memorial to uh, the guys here, the miners from 1742 to 1973, uh, to commemorate all the employees who worked for the Cornwall Mines Division uh, and what they sacrificed. Uh, but there are all these really neat villages all throughout here from North Cornwall to Bird Coleman, Miners Village. We actually went by the Cornwall Iron Furnace itself, which is what started it all by Peter Grubb. Uh, but we want to go and we want to hit all these different towns. I want to show you guys pictures of what it looked like back when. And, you know, all these little villages each sort of had their own anthracite uh, furnaces or forges that were there. Uh, which I didn't know that originally until I got the uh, images across America about Cornwall. It showed that each one, like Bird Coleman, would have had its own iron furnace. North Cornwall would have had its own iron furnace and each of these inter in individual villages like anthracite as well had its own iron furnace so we want to talk a little bit about their history uh, the importance of the people that lived here what they did this was one of the large I believe the largest east of the uh, Great Lakes like Lake Superior Lake Michigan uh, for iron deposits and uh, really you know went for over 200 years uh, of service uh, really is an extraordinary place and just such romantic beautiful little villages which each of their own history and purpose and uh, really a place like Cornwall here would have been the backbone of our country so I want to welcome you once again to this series the villages of cornwall we're going to go through be a little more introspective i'm going to show you old pictures of these towns the purposes behind them and the people behind them so once again thank you everybody and i uh, hope you guys enjoy going through some of these little villages just getting a quick sneak peek thanks everybody and we'll see you all about town